Nearly 650 union employees off the job for nearly a month. They've been locked out of the downtown ExxonMobil plant amid ongoing contract negotiations. You know, so for workers facing the unknown, it's been a month of rallies and organizing. Today, they loaded up in a bus to head to North Texas, rallying outside of the energy giant's headquarters. Earlier this month, they shined a message on the plant's facilities. And before the lockout, it was a rally for their rights. 12 News reporter James Grant has the latest in this fight. Jordan and Dej, members of the Beaumont United Steelworkers Union who have been advocating on behalf of these Exxon workers hope this morning's rally will help bring them closer to a resolution with Exxon. What do we want? Fair contract. What do we want it? Yeah. A more fair and equitable labor contract. That's what workers at Beaumont's Exxon plant say they've been asking for since the beginning of January. But so far, the company and plant workers have been unable to come to a resolution. Union workers have been locked out since May 1st, and it's taking its toll on the workers. We're confused. We have, uh, we have news every time that we have met with them, trying to get closer to their position. And the company, uh, uh, the company just uh, is their way or the highway. Hoot Landry, a United Steelworkers Labor Union rep, says ExxonMobil is trying to change the way the plant workers do their business. He says some of the sticking points include policies when it comes to seniority at the plant and concern over job security. We have an opinion about that because we have made several. We have made many different proposals and as alternatives to their, to their proposal. Uh, they're basically saying you take her leave it. The latest negotiations between Exxon and the local labor union took place May 12th, but according to Landry, the talks fell through due to the company not meeting the requests of union workers. But Landry hopes today's rally can spark action on Exxon's end. The rally happened at the same time as the company's annual shareholders meeting. Exxon Mobil needs to end the lockout. They quit messing with our safety, our job security, and our seniority. So here's where the company stands. Exxon released a statement today to 12 News saying in part, the current offer is a 1.5% pay increase for most refinery personnel, and they'll continue to engage in good faith negotiations with the union until a contract is ratified. Now we'll have that full statement on our website at 12newsnow.com. Live in Beaumont, James Grant, 12 News. Appreciate that update, James. And at the shareholder meeting, the energy giant ousted at least two of the company's 12 board members. Exxon Mobil replaced them with directors who say, who they say rather, seen as better suited to fight climate change, bolster Exxon's finances, and guide it through a transition to cleaner energy. The voting process takes some time to certify, so we'll know more later. It's a new development we'll continue to follow.